everyone. I am outside the Los Angeles Marriott Hotel in Burbank, California, right near the airport. And this was the scene of the recent GH convention just a few weeks ago. I was thrilled to be moderating on stage the panels with the cast of General Hospital in front of the throngs of fans from around the country. It was so much fun. I have some exclusive footage for you to check out. Here it is. And what a great week on GH this week. Did you watch the show? A J Sam baby, a bomb, Robin in peril, Matt Cohn shirtless and restrained. I mean, it was a big week. The little slut now. Oh, a little slut now. It? The big week. Yeah. All right, so Michael, where are you going? I'm going right here. Okay, so Michael's going to sit Moderating there. the panel. Okay, so we've already warned you guys we're not bringing the actors out here until they feel the love. I want to feel this building shake. Leslie Charlson and Jane Elliott have probably the best dynamic as Tracy and Monica. Crazy chemistry. I mean, this cantankerous relationship, and then you, they're, they're, they do love each other, and we've seen it in scene after scene. But the scene that I remember earlier in the year when uh, Tracy was gonna die or going into operation, and she told Monica that she loves her, and that was such a touching moment, and Leslie was so great, and Jane was. Can you speak to working with Jane and, the, and creating that relationship? Do I have to? Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, no, actually, I, and I think every actor can say, it is, it's wonderful when you get to work with um, someone not only that you like, but that's really good. And we have been friends since, we've known each other since New York, hundreds of years ago. Um, <laughs> and, and I thank you, Doug Mar Marlin, for creating the Quartermains and having it be such a wonderful group of dysfunctional people. <laughs> and, and having it be so interesting because, it, as you said, you know, Tracy doesn't say, I love you very often. And, and I think she was heavily medicated. But anyway, <laughs> it has been a wonderful, wonderful ride working with her. I look forward to it all the time. It's wonderful to really bitch at somebody that you like. <laughs> and we try to top each other, and then we don't speak for a while. You don't talk to each other. Yeah. <laughs> so a little insight for you. I always asked in the group panel one group question that they all had to answer, but it differed from each panel. For this panel with Leslie Charlson, Jackie Zeman, Ryan Carnes, Sonia Eddy, Carolyn Hennessy, Wally Kurth, Lisa Le Cicero, Dirk Cheatwood, a long list. Here's what they said to the audience. So this is a question for the entire group. If you could just tell me, when you first came, your first day on the set, you come to this iconic show, General Hospital. It's been on 52 years. You're now on the show. What was your first day like? What do you recall like driving up and going in your first day? Can you like each give me a little tidbit, Leslie? <laughs> so long ago. I just remember it was the day that Elvis Presley died. And I was in tears because I was his biggest fan. And I don't know if you know it, but his serial number when he was in the army was US 5331076. The things you learn here. <laughs> so I sobbed all the way to the studio and when I got there they said I hope you've got some wardrobe or makeup, they were on strike. And not only on strike, but I didn't really know it, but they, there was another Monica that they had rather rudely let go. So nobody liked me. And it was, it was the worst day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> to tell you the truth, I mean, come I on. A strike, no one's speaking to you, and Elvis died. Now, Jackie, you, had, you were on One Life to Live as Lana McLean, and then, do you remember Lana McLean? I, and so then you came to GH, right? I was actually, it had never happened, and ABC realized they had made a mistake, because I was on One Life to Live dying as Lana McLean for three days on the bed from the OD, and I was popping off the elevator on General Hospital as Bobby. <laughs> and I looked different, because that's when I, I um, did my hair red. I didn't know I was going to be on for it'll be 40 years that I would still be dying my hair red. <laughs> Four out. But it was my first day, I remember it very well, thank you. Because um, they flew me out from New York, I had a dog, I had a German Shepherd named Ruffian, and they, I like, was off work one life to live, and the next day I had to come out to, you know, to work, 
And so they put me in a bungalow in the Beverly Hills Hotel for three months, and they gave me a limousine and a driver for three months. I know in those days it was I very know. different than it is now. <laughs> and, um, and I went on the set, and I had watched General Hospital because it was on the ABC lineup, right. you know, and you kind of know everybody when you're in the shows. But to go on that show, Leslie was on, Stuart was on, um, Ken Schreiner, Jeannie Francis, um, Emily McLaughlin, Denise Alexander, Rachel Ames, John Berardino. So I was in dangerous territory when I went into the audience with the fans, with my microphone, and they're raising their hands and they had questions for the panel members. So here's what one person asked Kelly Monaco. That was, who does she think in the Castle General Hospital would be great on Dancing with the Stars? Especially, since she's already won that mirror ball trophy, here's what Kelly had to say. Here's a question for Kelly. If you could pick one castmate on GH, who would you pick to be on Dancing with the Stars? I, I a million percent hands down say Billy Miller. I, you guys have no idea. You have no idea how well he can dance. He doesn't want to do it. And considering he doesn't want to do it, I know Chad really wants to do it, so I'd like to see him on there. But I'd really like to see Billy in some sequence. Rhinestones and glitter. I just want to see me in sequins. And a spray tan. We all know that so fans are the most passionate out there, including myself. But I can tell you when one fan got to ask Roger Howarth a question, he was very overcome with emotion and very nervous, but he really had a question about what it was like for Roger to film that final scene with Kristen Alderson as Star Manning. Kristen was leaving the show. Roger had worked with her for many, many years on One Life to Live. Is what he said. I, I want to say one thing. I want to say I really appreciate the um, the last scene that you did with Kristen Alderson, Star Manning, on uh, yeah. General Hospital. Yeah. The last scene, I really it was really emotional for me, and um, Thank you I so cried much. actually during the episode. And actually, I noticed you did too, and I really appreciated that. Dude, thank you so much for all of your warmth and support, and for watching for all that time. I really appreciate. it. And thank you all for coming. I didn't realize there were so many of you. We couldn't see you until recently. Um, you kind of said a couple of different things. I, 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 I get to now publicly say how much I appreciate what we do be, for, for a lot of reasons, but I think it's really sweet that people watch with their loved ones. In, in today's, what we're doing now by ourselves, like it's always really cool for me to hear people say, I watch with my mom, I watch with my kids, I watch with, you know, I think that's really, really kind of awesome. And, and that's, that particular scene that you were so, so generous and kind about, uh, we got that morning, that was, those were like pink pages, like Ron just kind of threw that together because he, he thought that, 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 the, that the fans would really appreciate her having a chance to kind of say goodbye to somebody that, you know, I, I worked with that little girl, she was this big when I met her and she walked out the door, you know, 20 something years later. So. Such an amazing scene. It's like, scene. Uh, yeah, it's like that, that Link Letter movie, boy. Like, you watch this kid grow up on TV. Kelly Monaco said, what? Okay, so I was on stage, and a fan asked a pre-written question, and it was to Kelly Monaco, and they said, what was it like for Sam to give birth in skinny jeans and boots? Here's what she said. Uh, Leanne F38 has a question for Kelly Monaco. Was it fun giving birth in skinny jeans and boots? <laughs> was that fun? See, what happened was, <laughs> I have a, a very good explanation for this. Okay. I do. Jason had his switchblade on him, and he cut a hole. You actually said this. He could, no, because I argued the point, too. I said, take my boots off, take my pants off. like. <laughs> yeah, and this is the first time anybody said no. Yes, and they actually said no. I didn't and, say and no. And I said, justify it, Ben. And they said, well, Jason took out a switchblade and he cut open where he needed to cut open. <laughs> so the grand finale panel of the GH convention was featuring the Corinthos clan and other notables. On stage with me were Laura Wright, Mara West, Chloe Lanier, Chad Duell, Dominic Simbronia, and the man himself, Maurice Bernard. So having them all on stage together with nowhere to run, I asked them, what was your first encounter with Maurice Bernard like? And here
upstairs. What happened? Please, right, please, right, right, please. Drew, he was very, he was happy about it. He didn't, he, he didn't really, um, he, he didn't talk to you much. I looked at him from a distance and he's like, <laughs> but then he, I did a scene with him in a, this is very short, but, but um, I did a scene with him when I was in the prison cell and he, afterwards he liked the scene a lot and he finally opened up to me. What he said to me was, uh, just from now on, just look me in the eyes and I'll take you to the promised land. <laughs> True story. That should be the last story. story. That's amazing. That's his first wait, words. He really wait, no, to wait. Me. And happy? Yeah, he kind of yeah. <laughs> so, A little bit. But that was, that was, that was, my, my, was my first uh, major breakthrough with him, I guess. And that's what he said to me. Okay, hey, Chloe. Mine was actually really <laughs> sweet. Um, I remember, I think it was my first or second day uh, as Nell. And he was sitting in this huge recliner that looked really comfortable. And um, I, I, I looked over to him and I was like, you look like a gangster. <laughs> and, uh, and then he told me that he thought I was a gangster. <laughs> yeah, you, you probably don't remember this. Um, and then he told me that I reminded him of Sarah Brown. That's a compliment. That's so that compliment. was really sweet. Mara, what was your first encounter with me? It's funny because we've been doing this a long time, but we hadn't met until this show. You know what I mean? Like yeah, even yeah. At, over the years at functions or things like that, we would never met. Not even at the Emmys where you won about 10 and I won about one. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I think Maurice was probably a little. You were only there once, so what do you expect? No, <laughs> no but I, I think I think when you come on a show like I came on a show that was a well, Maurice had been on the show, well-established character for a very long time, and so you know I was a little nervous to meet him, which I don't think is unusual, right? No, I, you know because you, you know you're coming on, the, you're coming onto someone else's show, and you want to be welcomed and you want to, you want, you know, just like anybody who has a job, I'm sure a lot of people here have jobs, right? <laughs> you want your coworkers to like and respect you. And so that's really all I was sort of looking for at, uh, from Maurice was that he would like me and respect me. But you know, you know what's funny with, with Maura? Just it's... tell me that you like and respect me. <laughs> yeah. but it's the time right now. I love you and respect you. <laughs> but you know what's funny is that uh, you, Laura, and Chad, not him, <laughs> came on and I was just in a different, I was kind of jerky way, in a way. I don't know, it was kind of the way it was. And then we kind of grew to all dig each other. Well, now we're a family. So there you have it, a little taste of what went on on stage at the GH convention from the panel perspective. If the GH convention happens next year in a city near you or back here in Los Angeles, you should definitely come up with so much fun. I had a blast. Hope you love these little video ditties. And thank you for watching the Michael channel. And remember to subscribe. There's more coming. Bye.